cleaning different surfaces. Floss. Hey, mom. Oh, you are right on time to help me with the cooking. Hmm. So, what's cooking in your pot today? I'll stew the samaki mm -hmm. and you will make the ugali. It is called division of labor and specialization. Just be careful not to spill the food on the floor. I'll be careful, but in case the food spills, mm -hmm. I'll simply wipe with a mop. Nice thinking. But if you let the dirt to dry off on the floor, it becomes stubborn and difficult to remove. Hmm. That is why we do weekly and special cleaning of the floors. But... But what? It depends on the type of the floor. Our sister Razo, while others are cemented, wooden or PVC floors. Hmm. Why don't we begin with our floor? All right. Weekly and special cleaning of terrazzo cement floors is as follows. Mm, collect the equipment and materials required. Mm -hmm. Remove light furniture and sweep away loose dirt. Am I right? That's right. Dust the scatting board. Once this is done, washing begins. Can I give it a try? Go ahead. Let's see what you got. You are familiar with the procedure after all. All right. Scrub the floor using warm soapy water and a scrubbing brush. Uh-huh. Now, starting from the farthest end of the room, scrub the scutting board on the floor in circular motions, working a small area at a time. Correct. Wipe the scrubbed part with a clean cloth wrung in warm water. Keep scrubbing and wiping other parts, moving towards the door until the room is completely cleaned. Oh my! I am doing very well as a mother. That's right. Now, when you're done scrubbing and wiping, mm -hmm. dry the floor thoroughly with a floor cloth or a dry mop. Rearrange the furniture and clean all the equipment used. And store appropriately. Excellent! Now it's my turn to shine. Mm -hmm. Cleaning polished floors such as wooden and polyvinyl chloride floors. And what is that last word? Polyvinyl chloride. Okay. For weekly and special cleaning of polished floors, Proceed as follows. Collect all the cleaning equipment and materials required. Remove light furniture. Sweep the floor. Dispose of the loose dirt and dust the scutting board. Sounds familiar. I know. Wipe the scutting board and floor using a floor cloth wrung in warm soapy water, working a small area at a time. Mm. Remove any stubborn stains by scrubbing with a mild abrasive. Rinse the area with the mop squeezed in clean water. Keep cleaning and rinsing, cleaning and rinsing, overlapping the sections until the whole floor is cleaned. Then allow the floor to dry. Yes, but will you please allow me to finish? Okay. Using a cloth, apply the polish evenly on the floor rubbing in circular motions. Give the polish a couple of minutes to set. Then bump with a sheepskin cloth worn on the feet or fluffy clothes on the hands. Work methodically to ensure all the polish is removed and the floor is shining. Oh, wow. I must admit I had no idea how that is done. And that is the very reason why you have me. Sweep the floor again to remove any fluff. Rearrange the furniture, clean all the equipment and store appropriately. Remember, polishing and buffing clothes need not to be washed after every use. I will when I build my house with polished floors. <laughs> That's nice. 
But lunch is ready. So do the necessary while I serve the food. Nisawa, cleaning of floors depend on the surface type. But common in all floor type is moving light furniture to one side, mm -hmm. sweeping off loose dirt and dusting the cutting board. For terrazzo floors, scrub off fixed dirt and wipe with a clean cloth. For polished floors, allow to dry after washing. Give a few minutes to dry, then polish to shine. Not bad. Uh, let's eat here in the kitchen. There is still more to talk about. But food first. Okay. Food first it is. <laughs> <laughs>